The buffalo gather around the injured animal and try to raise it to its feet. Minutes pass. Things look hopeless for the exhausted buffalo. The lions are still waiting in ambush. Believing it to have died, the last few remaining buffalo begin to move away. And yet, another miraculous event takes place. The injured buffalo cries out one more time, as if asking them not to leave it. The herd immediately come back. The buffaloes once more see off the approaching lions. With a final effort, the elderly buffalo rises to its feet and mingling with its rescuers is lost from sight. These are Australian parrot chicks. They came into the world five days apart from one another. So there are considerable differences between them. The first chick to hatch is much larger than the last. Yet the mother parrot treats them all fairly. Every chick is given as much food as it needs. Ten days later, the oldest chick is still much larger than the others. Yet it miraculously shares its food with the smallest and weakest sibling, feeding it with its own beak. Why does that tiny chick make such a sacrifice? Why does it give its own food to its helpless sibling? Believers in Darwin's theory of evolution can never answer that question. Because that outdated theory rests on the assumption that everything in nature is selfish and engaged in a ruthless fight for survival. Yet, as we have seen, even a tiny chick shares its food with its weaker and helpless siblings when necessary. All the chicks grow up to be strong and healthy, thanks to the feelings of sharing and solidarity inspired in them by God. The woodpecker's beak is a magnificent drill. It first bores a hole in the tree with its beak, and then puts an acorn in the hole for retrieval later in the winter. This tree contains some 60,000 acorns stored in it by woodpeckers. It is no easy job to make 60,000 holes in tree bark. Woodpeckers manage it, however, with great patience and devotion, and then fill the holes with acorns. Their aim is to be able to feed their families through the harsh days of winter. Young members of the family assist in these preparations. Every bird carries out its duty to the letter. Not one neglects to do so.
In a demonstration of perfect cooperation and solidarity, the Woodpecker family prepares for the hard days to come. Another characteristic of living things that totally invalidates the theory of evolution is the surprising love and affection that can be seen in their behavior. The theory of evolution rests on the assumption that all living things are selfish and engaged in a ruthless fight for survival, whereas the fact is that their behavior reveals the exact opposite. This splendidly colored crested bird, for instance, clearly thinks very carefully about how to content its mate. It gives her little presents, a piece of fruit, for instance. Birds all over the world treat their mates in the same attentive manner. The guan bird in the Amazon jungle behaves in just the same way, as does the European goldfinch. Seabirds like fish, of course, so that represents the best possible gift for them. Grebes also like fish, but for the grebe, an exchange of gifts is only the beginning. Couples decide whether they are suited by dancing. At the start of the dance, they imitate each other's movements. Having got to know one another, they move on to the second phase of the dance in astonishing harmony. This dance shows the neighborhood that a new family has been born. Presents are given once the dance is over. The male seagull also gives his mate presents. After building their nest, the male and female begin caring for each other in the most attentive manner. Albatrosses behave in just the same way. These great beaks are very sharp and a danger to other birds. Yet, these sharp beaks also allow them to care for each other with great affection and devotion. The theory of evolution that regards living things as selfish and ruthless entities that emerged by chance is unable to account for this affection and harmony. That is because God created living things, and it is God who gives them feelings of affection 
self-sacrifice in sharing that the theory of evolution can never account for.